<laughs> hey! Yet another non-perfect intro. Why, keep, why be perfect? We're keeping it real, man. Yeah, this yeah. is live. This, this is, is not... raw, uncut yeah, stupidity yeah. at its max. It's it's not sterile. It's it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's there. It's yeah. got all the germs and everything. If, if we make it too clean, you'll realize that yeah. we're not human. And yeah. so we got to hide our identities. Therefore, we have to mess up every time we try to come in. Every time. What up, friends? So uh, we weren't here last week because um, it was Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Yeah, and uh, that's our only excuse. We that's just, it. you know, got to treat your mama right. That's right. We treat did. her right. We did treat your mama right. All right. So, anyways, she with works that, hard for the money. What is going on? So we're still having internet problems. I don't understand. We have fiber and everything, but for some reason, we are not connecting right today. So, um, I don't know what's going on with that. We are going to try. Let me switch off and see what happens know if we fix anything here if not you just got to deal with our ugly internet action as always all right we're gonna keep going on and hope for the best yes apparently we are using joe's internet um yes well, okay here's the problem i know <laughs> what it is it's uh it's it's tornado season here and uh uh i don't know and the sirens the are sucking up all the internet signals so yeah. that they're ready so they'll be prepared anyways we're um, looking at uh, maybe an f5 yeah so. <laughs> Um, it looks good on here it looks good on the phone oh well i don't know okay so we don't know what we're doing so as always let's go ahead and start out with our <laughs> haul of the week at all what's going on <laughs> george <laughs> yeah 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 wow. thank you george i appreciate it listen uh, i sing incredibly y'all yeah. just don't know y'all just don't know and, and don't worry george I'll, I'll hit the paypal thing uh, after a while I'll first of all so paper. leroy's trying to say that his tornadoes uh <laughs> don't affect uh oklahoma tornadoes are better than kansas tornadoes That's right um just like, saying we, just saying i saw a tornado in 1969 yeah i was uh, five in fact, our tornadoes let us stop and get selfies with them. So that's how that's you know exactly they're incredible. Right. Yep. Hey, let's do the uh, let's do the haul of the week in which I show off my terrible collection and y'all mock me. Hey, let me tell you a funny story real quick. I got to tell y'all a great story. So <laughs> you, you, a couple weeks ago, I showed y'all the uh, I showed you guys the 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 huge box uh, th four boxes of comic books I was given from within somebody's garage. Uh, <laughs> Joe's defending his internet also from with, within someone's garage. <laughs> So inside of this, I had two giant boxes, and they were all Conan the Barbarian. And here's the thing I've noticed about Conan the Barbarian. For the most part, every Conan the Barbarian, almost every one of them, can be found in the dollar bin. Right. Every last one of them. Right, right. And I was like, man. And then the other one was another box of, like, all image. It's like image comic books from the early 90s, all first, you know, of each of them. But, you know, who cares? It's image, right? Those like, are in the dust yeah, bin. Yeah, exactly. You can't sell those for a dollar. Um, <laughs> what I plan on doing with those is I'm going to use them as when I sell a really nice comic book, I'm going to put use those as the protection sheet. It, that's right. Form. Yeah, so the I'll buffer. Put, yeah, that way, mm -hmm. that way when our postal service, who just loves to chuck comic books – like there's such anger and animosity towards comics right now, so. especially media mail. Yeah, yeah, they hate media mail. They do. So they don't, will run over it oh, with a I truck. I know why. I know why. Hey, this is a mystery solved today. Do you know why the post office hates you? Can in fact, it is not allowed. You're not even supposed to be selling. You cannot put comic books in media mail. And some of you guys doing tradebacks are getting lumped under this, even though it doesn't apply to you. Okay, But it's a book. Okay, ready for it's this? Book. Media or mail. magazine. Media mail. Magazines don't count either. Media mail that has advertisements in it is supposed to be exempt from media mail. So if it's comic oh. books or magazines, no matter if it's antique ones, because it has, uh, because it has the uh, uh, advertisement inside of it, it doesn't, you're not allowed to use media mail. Okay. So instead of, instead of, my, hey, yes. Yeah, see, yeah. Most most indie books, though. Well, Are, I say most. A but, lot of them don't have advertising. I, I understand. And so yeah. here's what I think is happening. Instead of the postal service just dealing directly with people and saying, "Hey, look, give it if it's got advertisement in it, you can't do this." They act like one of those people who always do things kind of on the sly. You know, when they give you that way of telling you. You know. Anyways, um, <laughs> we had the conversation three years ago. You know what? <laughs> I am proud to be your new Leroy. 
I don't care. We weren't watching you three years ago. That's right. Um, <laughs> but you're still awesome. Okay, so that's what's going on with that. But here's the other side. But it doesn't matter what kind of melt. I'm telling you, I just, in fact, look at this. I'm not going to show this yet. Okay, so anyways, that's what I learned today. So if, if you're getting combo to media know. mail, then the, the postal service is doing that backhanded thing where they treat it like junk because they're it's, upset. It's vindictive postal service. Yeah. Yes. Vindictive yeah. delivery. So look at that. He's even like he's he, – <laughs> Okay, they so now you know. A, oh, okay. so now you know. Thank you, George. Where were you when we were sending stuff off? He's, he's helped coach us on this. I before, know George yeah. would be lost. He's without got it. You. He's got it. And, and you're not too bad yourself, Leroy. It's a good okay. thing we have you so, on retainer. Uh, last week I bought a bunch of books. I really haven't bought any books this week, but I bought a bunch of books last week, and they're all themed around uh, "May the Fourth Be With You." Because last mm -hmm. week we did an interview, which I'm editing right now, inside of our favorite comic book store which is Deadlift Collectibles. And we did a great interview with Mark Dobson, who is the voice behind Gremlins, the voice behind, I can't remember the oh, little guy's name, Scrumptious. I didn't, I didn't bring the picture, uh, the, the uh, classic original Day of the Dead. Oh, Not yeah. the one they remade, the one back in the day. He was he did he did the voice for that zombie going, you know, whatever. Yeah. And he, he signed a picture for me, you know, with that particular image, because I loved it, because we watched it in college. Yada yada yada. Yeah, and he's he's a teeny bit older than me, but we're we're like from the same era. Yeah, you know. Hey, I literally I literally picked up a book just just to uh, just to mess with Leroy today. I'm very proud of this. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Um, doesn't that, he have Leroy has X Men tattooed on his back? Doesn't he? Yeah, I Leroy, think so. He I secretly loves along it. with those angel wings. Hey, by the way, I found an interesting storyline. I really have been enjoying. I, I'm really behind on it, but I've been picking them up as they go. So. Um, this has been a really good one, this Deep Beyond. Mm -hmm, um, and mm -hmm. it's, I got it because you were buying me Peach Mimoka covers. Three, three and, variants. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I have three variants of it. Peach and Mimokas. I actually I, I sat down and read it the other day, and I was like, man, I don't really want the rest of it. So I'm, I'm starting to pick up these. This has been a really great storyline. I, I think I'll talk about it next week or in a mm -hmm. couple weeks and just – because I, I want to get the rest of them, really follow up on it, make sure that it is a great storyline before I start suggesting mm -hmm. it, uh, before you all bag on me. Um I don't even know what the deal is on this one, but I just found this really funny. I really freaked out when I first found this uh, because I was like, "Dog, God, this is a great comic book, and it's got this mark on it." No, that's actually just inside the thing. So that's that was part of the original. It's part picture. of the original, yeah. yeah so, yeah, that's anyways, the look. Um, and you didn't then, see that very often. No, and then here's often. the cool thing that I went and picked up. Um, uh, this was a four part series called The Recount, and I liked it. I, I mean, look, it's it's super political. But um, I, I really liked it, and um, Brian Silverback did a remark on it, and I really like the remark on this. You can see that in the white. Yeah. So right on the cover. Yeah. And so, we were gonna we were gonna push this and say get yours now while you can, but yeah, guess what? They're all sold. They're out. gone. So you need to just reach out to him on silverbacks.com. Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, silverback.com. And, and tell him you want one of those. B a x silverbacks. Silverbacks. Yeah. B a x. So, anyways, mm -hmm. but yeah, look how cool that is. I don't know. I love that. The recount was kind of I, I really enjoyed the storyline behind it. Um, it was fun. So all right, go ahead, smack me with your epic collections. Show me well, show me you how know, awesome this, your collection okay. is. I finally I finally got a box that I I bought in Jan uh, no, not January, February, first part of February from Neil, which is I'm not complaining, you know what I mean? I'm just chuckling. I finally got it. So I haven't shown a bunch of these things. From some of this Kate, wait, wait, we have some new people on tonight. Okay. When he says Neil, he means Neil, Neil Adams. Adams. Neil Adams who does auctions on Tuesdays and Fridays. And, uh, you know, of course, he's got – you can get online anytime and order some of his stuff and, and order commissions through his son, Jason. So, anyway, I finally got my box. And there's a really cool trade in here that, of course, he signed it at the bottom there. There you go. There and you go. I, I have – whoops, I'm pulling this out of my ear. Give me a second. Here, I'll hold. Okay. If you open that up, the very first story in there, they'll show you a cover. Where at? Right it's here? a cover gallery. You got to go a little further. You said it. Be right. One before that. That's it. This is, you know, it's a collection, of course, right? Yeah. This is Detective Comics 400. I got that off the rack back in the day, and I've got him to sign it. I've got that book. <laughs> yes. He rode his bike. Yes. Seven Eleven And picked it up off the rack. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. How could I even compete with that anyway? I didn't even have my cell phone. Neil Diamond. They didn't. It was Neil Diamond. Yes. <laughs> that is his other obsession. If your last name is uh if you if you have the name Neil anywhere, anywhere, Neil 
Armstrong. He loves all the Nils. That's right. He loves all Only the Nils. Only uh, Neil Adams, he, he himself said that his, I think his, his mom spelled it wrong or whatever, N-E-A-L instead of the N-E-I-L, <laughs> you know. So anyway, uh, he said that. I didn't say Yeah. That. Okay. So here's, here's some more books. I've shown you some of these before from previous boxes, so I did get a few duplicates. However, uh, like this one right here, you normally have to pay 20 bucks extra to get COAs, et cetera. This one happened to have one with it. Mm -hmm. So you also get those little surprises in there, your little bonuses along with your box full of stuff that's worth way more than what you paid for it, for sure. And uh, here's a cool Ra's al Ghul cover. Da -da -da -da. I like it. I like it. You're yeah. going for that one right there. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So, so there's that. And then a, a the homage to Batman 251, I believe it is. Keep going. You're good. Yeah. And what he did is reverse it. And instead of Batman being held on the ace card, Batman is holding the Joker. I love it. On the ace card. See, if you're going to do something, that's way better than a gender bender. Yeah. Yeah. Flip the hero villain. Yeah. That's all these, even cooler. All these are signed, of course. Yeah. And again, some have uh, COAs. Here's a hardback Superman. This is uh, the coming of the Supermen. Mm. The Ubermenches. I like it. And, I like uh, it. There you go. And he signed right there. Okay. Uh, cool. I get one more thing and then we'll call it. Get down to business. Star Trek Gr Green Lantern variant <laughs> cover, which uh, are, is amazing. Yeah, that's wild. Now, you know, you guys have seen that IDW, that older one from a few years back, uh, Star Trek Planet of the Apes. Yeah. And, and it's the original Star Trek cast. Planet of the, I, I think it's amazing. I love it. I'm still trying to get one of those variant covers that has. William Shatner's photo on it because it looks like a gold key comic. Okay. Have you seen those? No, I'm going to have to show you I this. Haven't. I can't get my hands on it. So if anybody knows where one I is, let what, me know. Um, I actually have a copy that I, I rode my bicycle down to 7-Eleven <laughs> when I was You were kid. probably riding a bike when that came out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Here's just a magazine that Neil is featured in that he included in his box. These things are all in that box. Now, Along none of these came from the Krusty Bunker. This is from this is not Krusty Adams live auction. We're going to do a whole Krusty Bunkers thing coming up. We're going to. We're, we're working on a plan. Uh, last Two weeks ago, we, we premiered the new theme song we wrote for them. Uh, just because we're going to just keep adding to the obsession we have with No Adams. All right. That's right. Was that that's everything? Right. That, I think, yeah. That's that everything was it? worth that talking was all. about right now. Everything worth talking about. All right. So um, let's go ahead and introduce. Yes. We got to hang out tonight. And um, uh, I don't think. Let's see if I can pull this up. Here, I'm gonna try to pull this off. Here's what happened. We had we've redone our. We've had to re. We've had to remove our screen or remove. We've had to. I've had to reload our screen twice. I don't know what's going on with the internet tonight. I actually have. Uh, no, it's not on there. Yeah. Hey, George, oh, yeah, I'm glad you got all those. So if you run into an extra uh, Captain Kirk cover, let me know because I need that one still. I've got McCoy and Spock. I think. So this isn't gonna work. Let's just bring him on. Okay. We'll try it later. Okay. It's too much work. So tonight we've got on um we've got on a comic book artist. Yes. And creator. Um, creator. And uh, you know what's funny is so you and I both uh backed this book because of one of the uh closeout streams that we got excited about. Yes. And uh man, he did a great job. So absolutely. Um Let's go ahead and introduce our guest. You want to put him on here? Do you yeah, want to I'm show the video first? I can't get the video to work. Can't get the video to work. On. Okay, so Joe's coming straight on. All right. What's up, Joe? Joe Catapano. <laughs> Hi, guys. What's up? Hey. Man, we had to we had to try and refix our streams here. So um, he's going to try to get I, that video. I'm a little right. off. So no, we yeah. don't need it. We don't need yeah, it. Yeah, no worries. Do we, yeah. Do we need it? We don't I need mean, it. Last time, I showed, last time I showed Figaro's uh, introduction video off of his Indiegogo, I got a hard uh, copyright strike for playing it. So hmm. I'm too afraid now. I'm too afraid. I'm scared. <laughs> Who knows so, what Figaro's got in that video? Though. Yeah, I was like, right. did you not pay for your the royalty <laughs> on the music? Is that why I'm getting in trouble? Could so um, he's epic. I love it, man. I love it. So, yeah, okay, here's, here's what I do. I, I thought of a scenario to help kind of break the ice because we've had a couple of we've had a couple of interviews where people got so so intimidated, you know, <laughs> by our charisma. We're very intimidated. So overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> by our love of of Neil Adams, I mean, we literally have just been bragging on Neil Adams, you know. And, and I know as an artist, that's really probably a, a, we're setting a pretty high bar here, you know, mm -hmm. to start you out with. So, I, I thought of a scenario that may help break the ice. 
that may help break the ice. <laughs> Why are we? Because it matters. It's my show. I'll do what I want, Leroy. <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. I've thought of a scenario. I thought of the scenario. This is the perfect scenario. And this will, this, because listen, what we're going to do next after this is we are just going to pedal. We're going to shell your book. Okay. We are, we are going to get at least all, all four viewers right now to either rebuy your book or um, uh, tweet it out or something. Okay. So, I mean, what we're about to do for you financially should help your future kids go to college. You're welcome about right. that. And so uh, we want to help break the ice. So I've got a perfect scenario to help out. Yeah. The word of the day scenario scenario Thank you. all right are you ready for this okay so um i just want you to imagine with me and, and this is really gonna help us know the inner psyche of how your mind works okay um we find we find a magical a genie uh given dust buster okay and if you point this <laughs> dust buster at any artist or any creator you literally get to suck all of the creativity that makes them awesome and bring it on yourself and so the question I have for you tonight is taking this magical dust buster that we <laughs> hand you, right? That was given to us by a genie of old. Who do you point this thing at? See, I was careful oh, on this that's question. A great one. I didn't okay. say, yeah. I didn't say because you know dust busters right. suck. I didn't say anything like I, that. I'm just saying, you, who do you point this dust buster at? Just, Who's, just don't say no filter. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah. Are you no, ready? Right. I like how it's a dust buster, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It has to be a dust buster. <laughs> it has to be a dust buster. All all copyright infringement is is is, it's is needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Excellent. Who are we pointing this at, my friend? I'm gonna point it over to um Kenneth Rockefeller. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I I don't like the idea of taking other people's powers. Um, but uh that's only because I think the the true magic comes from like the the journey of like becoming that good. Like mm. you obviously don't, you don't build character just by using a dust buster, but um, you know, I dig well, it. I dig it. I'll, I'll take the power. Okay. Well, what if we, what if we make this a monkey's paw and you also gain their, their least likable quality also, like maybe, you know, mm. something that they've been hiding from the world. You actually gain that and cannot lo any longer hide it. Then is it, is it, would it work better for you? This magical yeah. dust buster that that actually is a monkey's paw <laughs> that makes you regret. I think it'd be interesting because uh, I don't know if there'd be a weakness coming with uh, Rokefer. Maybe oh, I, don't feel I, like I can right. tell you what it is right now. But, He's greedy and won't share his original. So you would, <laughs> you would, you would, you would, you would be, uh, you would have this, you would have this need to buy safes to hide all your original artwork, right? And so. Right. You would always be looking around the corner. You would have extra security in your house that wasn't necessary. When you shut the door at night, you would have four locks and you would test them four times. Then you would go reopen the safe, check all of your original prints, then close it, then reopen it, close it. Um, so, you know, I, there, there's a trade off here. I mean, yes, right. you're going to have amazing art skills, but there's the paranoia <laughs> with your original. So, that could have been me. Yeah. Yeah. See, th this is how we have to think about these things. My thought was, uh, I'd pointed at everyone, right? Hmm. I'd pointed at everyone. I'd end up being a troll, right? I, I would get, I would. <laughs> you gotta I'd get be that, taking that, on all you these. Gonna get the purple hair, yeah, up in the air yeah, like that, that every kind of ounce troll. of it. Okay. But because right. because I was thinking, I'm going after Elon Musk, right? For <laughs> and, 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 you know. Um, Tesla. I, yeah. And then, and then just to anger Leroy, I'm going to take SpaceX. on Claremont's uh, writing abilities. I'm going to steal all of his writing abilities, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'm going with the, the, the artist style stylings of Frank Miller oh. right out the back. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, and then what I'll be is I'll be this, you know, elusive genius trying to launch comic books to Mars. Right. Right. And so, yeah. Yeah. I love it. See, we, you said Frank Miller, we can do a Frank Miller show sometime and talk about break down and analyze all of his periods or phases in his art and what he was doing here and there, because it's a big wide change mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you could, you know, like Picasso had, the blue phase or the, mm -hmm. the blue period and da 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 da, da you know. And I see, I just compared him to Picasso, so there you go. So uh, you got to be let, on our show let, now, Frank. Let, anyway. let me clarify a couple of things on the comments here. First of all, I wasn't saying I, I, I was saying I would become a troll because I would have to take on all the terrible, you know, side effects of them, you know, mm -hmm. by by stealing their powers. Um, and uh, the reason I act and think like this is because I don't do drugs. So yes, I don't know <laughs> if I'm actually a great promotion for not doing drugs. Uh, if you've decided not to take Adderall in life, this might be a reason right here, the way my brain works to do Adderall. I don't know. I don't know. 
So um, just trying to help people out here. Don't do drugs unless they're prescribed by a psychologist and then do drugs, there you right? Go. I'm just trying to help everyone out. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's, I okay. was just trying to now, help break the ice. Here. That's right. So we did the opening question. So yeah. let's let's get into the meat and potatoes. Let's do this. Let's, let's do this. Let's tell us all about the, the your book. Sure. Um, Star I, do you have a, do you have a page? Uh, it's, it sometimes get, sometimes I, helps yes. to reference what I'm um uh, Yes, I'll pull up it. some stuff here real quick. Let me I'll pull up the right thing. You start talking, and sure. I'll throw stuff up there, and together we'll rule yeah. the world. So uh, <laughs> Star Circuit's a uh, cyberpunk book. It's a cyberpunk racing adventure. It's it's somewhere in between um, something like, uh, if you've ever seen Akira, and uh, which is like this kind of classic old-school 80s uh, anime, and something along the lines of if this if you've ever played this game f0 which is like an old uh, nintendo game about um sci-fi racing so i've combined these kind of cool ideas together i'm a big fan of uh, you know motorcycles and and just intense action uh and yeah the book is just like a uh the first chapter of a mini series which i've really kind of put my my everything into for like the last three four years so um, on this one, I'm the writer and the artist. Uh, I also colored the book. So it's, it's pretty much just, uh, you know, my baby as far as a uh, creative project. Uh, Dude, I love it. I, I love, love it. the idea behind this because these are the, the guy racing doesn't have any like cybernet, cybernetic. He's not like a, he's, he's a, a an actual human. human racing against forces that have built in. Yeah, the, the, sto yeah. the story is... Um, pretty much a, a classic man versus machine story yeah, where yeah. Uh, in this reality, technology has become so advanced that um, androids are now the pinnacle of racing. And so it's even kind of like a suicidal thought for anyone to even conceive of maybe competing in, in the pro racing scene. So a guy like this young street racer, Atlas, who gets convinced that he could actually do it is nuts. It's like, no one's, no one's given him uh, a second, you know, a, thought about, you know, supporting him. So he's definitely on, on, on the fringe, on the deep end. And uh, yeah, he goes for this, he goes for the gold, which is uh, in this society kind of unknown. I got gotcha. awesome. I love it. So what I, what got me excited, I, I watched you on the closeout stream you had going on. And one of the things I think is cool about this idea is this is an actual conversation that people are, who are thinking about AI and like, like self-driving cars are already having, you know, with like 5G coming out. Like there are people that are talking like the only way that we would be able to have an actual, you know, like an entire highway that have completely automated vehicles and everything is mm -hmm. that there wouldn't be any human drivers. Like I actually heard a conversation a while back on this whole idea. And then I saw your book and I was like, this is awesome, man. I love this idea. Yeah. yeah a lot of that's how it kind of spawns. Um, yeah. A lot of my inspirations come from even realism outside of outside of the other, uh, you know, all the books and, and movies and whatnot that inspire you. The reality these days is getting pretty close. Mm -hmm. um, and even in the book, everyone's kind of already got the, you talked about Elon, everybody's almost got this Neuralink chip in the brain yeah. already. And everybody's connected to the same network. So they're seeing, uh, everyone sees kind of a similar thing with like an AR kind of technology. So like all these ads that they're right around on this page, all the little screens and stuff that are popping up, they're not there. Everyone just sees them because they're on the same network. Wow. Okay. Very cool. That's awesome, man. I can't um, wait to get my hands on it and delve into yeah. it. The things that come to mind when I first saw this, I'm thinking, and I'm going way back. You may not know what some of these movies are, but I'm thinking <laughs> like Rollerball, that old classic one James Kahn was in. Of course, Tron. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm thinking of that. I'm just seeing these images, and I know it's not that story, but all these things come to mind, and it's there's that familiarity that makes it, interesting and desirable for me right when i'm seeing these things and uh what's it been her you know which mm -hmm. of course influenced was episode one the big the race with the space pods or whatever yeah you know? yeah the yeah the pod racing was like the best part of that movie it's right like, right yeah. and that's they they got the the inspiration of that from ben hur of course yeah the original yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah I, I think all those things apply here it's got from everything i'm, I'm looking at i've got the feel of all those things so it's extremely appealing to me you know, so well, yeah. Leroy uh, Kira is a comic book, but it's all good. <laughs> you know, he doesn't branch out very much. Uh, <laughs> it's a, uh, it's an interesting thing to talk about, like you know where inspirations come from, because like I said, 
I, I made actually a matrix of all my inspirations for this book and several things are in there that you might not expect. I mean, some of it's old school uh, anime stuff that I grew up on, but also there's, you know, simple things like, like you said, Tron or the matrix has elements in here. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's smaller. I don't know if you've ever read the book Neuromancer. It was going to become a movie at one point, but Neuromancer is pretty much the, the, um, the start, it's like the origins of cyberpunk. That's where the, um, Gibson wrote this book that just like, you know, he pretty much, he pretty much invented cyberspace and that word and what it meant. And, you know, this other alternate reality within the computer, he invented this thing in this book. And I draw upon that a lot too. That's um, awesome, man. What you're looking at here is a 3d print that I'm also selling with the book. This is the newest, um, edition. Uh, it's 60 bucks for the gray version. And we're working on a painted version, but right now we've got a limited first edition of the gray uh, bike in which we can actually, um, we can spray it for you to prime it uh, if you want to paint it yourself. But for the most part, it's, it's, it's an awesome bike. It's, it's uh, pretty big. Yeah, that looks sharp, man. Yeah. That's sharp. Really awesome. It is. And of course you designed that one, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Love it. And so everything right now, by the way, so this, the, you got fully funded on this. And so everything right now is in demand. But right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Excellent point. The, yeah. Campaign is ended, but you can still jump on any. Just, of, just remember, it, some of us are noobs, yeah, so we. Just yeah, want to yeah. Make sure I, we're, I was going to say, yeah. I think you can jump on about anything there, or has some uh, some of the things been closed out? Mm -hmm. Any of the offerings? The yeah, it, there's there's plenty to kind of uh, figure out with this campaign. Uh, anything you get is able to add on to almost anything else. Um, I know you're right now at the stretch goals, like, and um, there's a lot that you get with this campaign just by backing the book. Yeah. No, that's um, exciting, man. Mm -hmm. Love it. So, oh, yeah. um, and and so I'm I'm assuming too with this with the success you have going on. I mean, I, you're probably just anyone who's writing something out like this. I, you've got kind of a whole world you're going to build around this. This isn't going to just be a one shot thing, or uh, no? This is the first chapter in a mini series. Yeah. I, you know, I, I spent four years. Two and a half of those years are just concept art and just nice. Yep. Thinking, writing, coming up with everything I needed to. It took a long time, and I I wasn't. A, I wasn't the caliber of artist or creator at the start of when, when I did this, like mid 2016, um, I wasn't ready for what I'm doing right now. I don't think I could have made the book at that time, but cause I, I essentially drew it around 2019. Um, and, um, yeah, it, it's, it's the best work I've done. And above that, it's the best like cons conceptual work I've done too. So, yeah. God, Congratulations. I dig it. I, dig it. Honest. Yeah, I was looking at, nice. I was, I've been looking at a bunch of your artwork too, man. I really, I, I love like, you're really good at um, like making very interesting uh, composition with what you do. Um, so it, it, I just, I do, I really like how you really draw in like people's attention into. Yeah. 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 You're so, drawing into the thing that the, yeah. your perspective and the angles are, are great. Cause I know the the tighter, the angle, the, the sharper, the perspective and whatever it, it's, it's yeah. tough. Well, and even the it's way it's tough they to draw make it look people. good, and these you, look great. Yeah. You're you're good at even drawing good. the action shots where it looks like you mm -hmm. you get the motion of people and stuff with it all too. So yeah. it's, it's sharp, bro. It's it really is sharp, and I, I love like even your usage of uh, lighting and stuff to give that motion feel on mm -hmm. everything you're doing. So. You, did, are you the colorist on this also? I'm the colorist in the book. Uh, if you scroll up uh, to the the variant cover, that's pretty interesting because I don't know if you even know the guy Steve Furcow, okay. uh, but he he colored a lot of the old image guys. He he color, he's coloring, he colored Capullo, Dave Finn. She's, he's, he's now in the game industry, but um, oh. my, my variant cover is done by Steve, Steve Furcow, which he's the one of the first guys that I saw who had a tutorial out how to get coloring in I comics. And I pretty much learned from him and, you know, branched off in my own way. But yeah, this one right here. Right there. That's, that's Steve's. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is Kane and White and Steve Furcow and just, an amazing color job. I can't, you know, I couldn't be happier about that variant cover. It looks great, but mm -hmm. I, I think it's also in line. It's it's very compatible with all the other art. I mean, you know, it doesn't look like like it's something completely from a different location. It's like, oh, this was out of left field, you know, versus this. No, I, I think it goes with everything. It really does. Yeah, and I, I just, you know, I, I didn't give him really any notes. <laughs> I gave him all the reference, but he just, he knew exactly what I was going for. The minute, you know, you see some of the book, you kind of get the, the feel. I think the success of this book is partly because I'm kind of in tune, I think, to what people want to see in like a, a futuristic book. And everybody wants this book to be made, I feel like, without them knowing, you know. Uh, so 
there's like a, a, a connection there that you don't even realize yet. Um, but uh, I'm glad that I'm glad it's doing so well because it's going yeah. out to more people. Yeah. No, I, I, I mean, without knowing the storyline, I, I think the concept of it is something I could, I would definitely see as a really cool animated series that, that would get picked up somewhere quickly too. So mm -hmm. I, I hope that, uh, I hope that this does get, you know, a lot of success with it because it does look like a great, interesting story. I can't wait to read it, man. So, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm stoked for it too. Uh, the test reads that I've had, the editors that I've had, they, they really dig it. Um, like way higher than they're, they're giving it raving reviews so far so i'm hoping That's awesome. well this this is the first chapter so you're kind of left at a you know it's a pilot kind of thing where you're nice. going to be left a little bit on a cliffhanger uh, but you're going to get a very satisfying first um taste of, of this universe and this um this whole deal with racing and because uh, it's, it's based around racing but it's not a racing book a lot of the book is about you like the girl on the cover is is atlas's ex-girlfriend that just happens to be in the story and they have a conflict he's got like an imperfect family life that he's trying to deal with he's got a tragedy that he's trying to overcome um he's running away from all the relationships so this whole journey is like him um almost as he's becoming a better racer he's becoming a, a better person you know and, and that's part of what it is you know now on a personal awesome. note on a personal note I, I do need to give some criticism um you know i understand it's cyberpunk but i really think we need to encourage people to quit going with these colors uh of hair um simply because <laughs> it doesn't work in real life i don't know if you've been to walmart lately but they've all taken your suggestion and they're rocking the greens and yeah. the blues mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and you look at someone here that tried all the colors yeah and, and, and look, look what, what happened yeah. yeah i mean right. so, it just burned it all off i I just want to, I just, I think you could do the world a favor. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's go cyberpunk, but also say, Hey guys, remember uh, in real life, uh, these colors won't work for you. It won't mm -hmm. be this color blue. Uh, no, you think really it looks cool. Somebody, somebody on the magazine was paid, you know, $50,000 to get the, that look right. Um, you're not going to pull it off with the box of color you bought at Walmart. Um, right. I'm just saying, man, I just, you know, <laughs> um, it might look funny. cool when you join Antifa, but other than that, I just, I just think we could do, we can help people is all. I'm just saying like, we can help people, you know, right. okay. <laughs> I feel like in, in 2016, when I designed these characters, um, it was a little bit of a different of a landscape for sure. Oh, true. Way, true. Okay. Different. Yeah. However, <laughs> however, in, in, in this universe, it's all genetic. Like you, you're able to pick your hair color through uh, like genetic manipulation. Oh, so, that's okay. awesome. There okay. You that solves that's it all. It. That's it. So if you're watching right now and you're considering this, wait till the genetics allow you to change your hair color using your own DNA. Perfect. Right. Right. Perfect. Right. Perfect. It, Natural it's just, DNA it's really color. just a parent's choice. Just like they pick yeah. the name. They pick gotcha. your features. Perfect. Uh, we got a question here. They want to know how many bikes are left for purchase. Um, if you scroll down just a little bit on the page, it shows you one or, you know, a number out of a number, uh, just a little bit lower. There we are. There Looks right. like there's just uh, what, 20, 26, 14 left. out of. OK, it looks like there's some left. Yeah. Yep. So there's plenty left. But this is it's cool for you guys to get because eventually I guarantee I have an ad in the book, too, because I wanted to let people read the book and then be excited about the bike and then be like, okay, this would be really cool to have on my, you know, my desk or on my shelf. Um, so yeah, I, I think they're going to go quicker okay. once you get your hands on a book and feel it out. But um, dude, I believe me, uh, this, this bike is awesome. It's, it's, it's incredible to see. It looks nice. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I love it, man. I think that, that that's one of the cool parts about this is this is definitely something that if, you know, as this blows up, it's it's definitely going to be able like that bike is cool uh, my son would even like like Heck i mean yeah. this is the kind of stuff that yeah. I, it, it does kind of hit that gap where everyone would get excited about mm -hmm. it so I, I think it's cool man it's clever i love it Thank i you. love it i okay, appreciate yeah. you having me on too yeah absolutely man. No, we, we yeah. uh we appreciate you jumping on so quickly <laughs> we were gonna we were gonna talk about some other stuff that was yeah. lame yeah, so yeah. you're you're yeah. saving so, the day here we went from now, lame to game yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. I, like uh, I mean, magical <laughs> dust busters and uh, genetic hair color and yeah. cyberpunk. I mean, okay. Dude. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just let's go, right. let's go. <laughs> let's go back to the bike and the 3D print there. Yeah, so, so do you lower down to the um, right past the pages because yeah, there's yeah. two different turnarounds. Um, one that's nice and colored, which I'll be working on uh, getting a colored version. It'll okay. be a premium and they'll be yeah. very exclusive. 
Yeah. Very, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Very nice. So do you have the equipment to do this or you get someone to do it for you? This is uh, one of my old friends. Uh, he's just a fanatic about 3D printing. Um, okay. You know, 3D prints tend to be pretty rough, but this guy is just a master. He knows what he needs to do. He'll put the, he'll cover up the rough edges and he just knows how to make the seams less apparent. Um, I was going to say so, this looks smooth. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's nice. It's way smoother than um, most 3D prints. It, there's still there's still some edges which will disappear if you paint it, but um, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like you'll see way more if you take a picture of it. Like the human eye will be able to pick up a lot of these imperfections yeah. in it, um, but in person you're not going to be able to tell. I right. I like it with that raw color. I think I'd leave it gray. Of course, I just I don't yeah. have any painting skills, so I wouldn't want to risk it anyway. Also. But. Um, when you put the primer on it, uh, yeah. it, it goes with even darker gray. So it almost even seems more mature. And, Ooh, and yeah. yeah. Um, no, that's cool, man. So I like uh, it. And you can see it's like seven inches long. It's like a bricks, a brick side. You're holding like a brick in here. And that's kind of how big it is. It's, it's gigantic nice. as far as 3D prints go. Nice. nice. I'm going to get one. I'm going to put it back here. I'll put it under the ATAT -AT over here. So. Oh, yeah. That'd I love great it. Man. That'll show up nicely on the back set. So. Star Wars definitely uh, influenced me uh, as far as the genre of what Star Wars is. I, yeah. I, think what, I think what most people like about Star Wars is that it's, um, uh, it's a science fantasy rather than a fit than science fiction where there's a lot of techni technicalities. Star Wars is very loose and, and just more about the fun. Uh, they, they direct, they direct your believability by having characters react believably to the situations yeah. rather than you explain why the blasters work in space and stuff. Um, you know, the way Star Trek would, or you know, mm -hmm. I love it, man. Yep. I love yep. it. You, yeah, this is awesome. It. So, um, yeah, I think people need to get on quickly back. The well, I mean, the book's already back, but go ahead and buy copies of this. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I just think this is one of those things that, um, I really do think you, you've got something great here that's going to be a lot of fun to be a part of and, and to watch this thing grow. I'm excited to see you expand this world. And, and, uh, I, I don't know, I, I like, I like to the collectability side of things. So the fact that you're adding fun things that people can have and, and get a hold of just adds to that world. So when, uh, when, uh, Johnny phantasm got his own action figure, I was like, yep, I'll go ahead and put that on the shelf too. And, mm -hmm. uh, so I love it, man. I love when we're, when there's stuff that we can get a hold of and, and, uh, just add to the collection side of things, man. It's, it's such a solid thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. The collectible thing for me too. It, it almost seems it becomes more real for you. You know, something in your book is almost still in your imagination. But when you see the uh, when you see it on your shelf every day, you're like, oh, you remember you remember the feelings when you read it. So yeah, it's nice. So uh, when can we? All of us who backed it when it was mm -hmm. as a campaign, I guess that's what Leo is asking too, or maybe he's mm -hmm. just explaining. But w when can we expect to get a copy of this so we can start reading it? And yeah, we are uh, our reviews for sure. Um, we are we are in the it's going to the printers right now. So uh, we're we're using Comic Impressions down in Florida. Um, so it's a quick ship back and forth. Um, I'm actually, I didn't realize they had such a cheap option for UV, uh, spot UV. So that's when like select spots on the cover are glossy and the other spots are not. Um, okay. but that was so cheap. And because the shipping is so cheap in Florida, um, I'm throwing in that for free. So that's something nice. I don't even mention in the campaign that you guys are all getting. Um, cool. but Love that. it's, yeah, it'll be, you'll be reading it in June. Nice. So, All right. Love it. I'm looking love forward it. to it. Great. Yeah. Not well, to take it off too far off of yeah. base here where we're at, but mm -hmm. Comic Impressions it did issue five for me. And I'm. Nice. Uh, this is for Leroy and George and everyone out there waiting. <laughs> uh, the first round, they accidentally put two covers. Not They had the heavier cover and they repeated the cover on the inside on the lighter paper. Uh, yeah. So it's taken a while to come back around, but I'm, I'm thinking they're going to hopefully get it shipped out this next week and have the one that's got the correct <laughs> deal. And I'm not slamming them at all. The quality yeah. of the book is amazing. It looks great. Uh, and but their, yeah. their, their customer service is great too. I, I like the guys yeah. over there. Really nice. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'll tell you what, all we're asking is that we get the book before Leroy and George so we can do our review before <laughs> theirs because theirs will be more thorough and well done than ours. Uh, <laughs> and also I'm a slow reader. I have to sound out big words. So uh, that's all I'm asking. If if you could just get ours first, so that we get our review out, and we'll say we like pretty pictures, you know, right. um, ours will be a more positive review because of you know my inability to read correctly. So it'll be good. It'll be good. I'll be like, I really like the pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Them's pretty pictures. Them's pretty pictures. Yeah.
They lose oh. lots of colors. Yeah, here's George slam it, rubbing it in here. Next month will be the one-year anniversary of me backing the Bobcat, and that's right. One, one thing we say at the Bobcat is – we can do it in less than a year. We are, we're all we're doing, all the Bobcats doing is just following the same slow the curve uh, timeline. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know, 14 days to slow the curve is the same timeline that the Bobcats following. So the next, if it's good enough for the CDC, that, it's good enough for the Bobcats. That's right. The, the next, uh, <laughs> the next edition of the Bobcat, I've told everybody that I'm going to keep repeating it. It's going to be done basically, right? It'll be just right ready for print when I run the campaign. So there's not going to be waiting like yeah, there was never before. again. It ain't going to happen. Uh, I've, I learned so much from COVID uh, th and everything that happened along with it. I ran six successful campaigns prior to that and got them out. I, one of them was like 30 days behind the projected date. And this this one is like off the charts. Boom. But anyway, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's going to be good. Well, it's awesome. still in the What's that? Is it still uh, in the mat or no? I don't know if it's still because I don't know. You know, there's a timeline on that. If they don't uh, back it within so many days, it goes out of that. And I think it may be out of demand out of okay. demand right now. I think so. I have to go back and look. Tell you the truth. Honestly, I haven't I haven't looked well, at it. We'll send you a copy, though. With yeah, yeah. we'll send you. Yeah, we'll, with, yeah. with a, you'll get the you'll get the bonus uh, double cover print, which will make it more valuable That's right. in the future. Yeah. All these guys are like, I want a perfect copy. They're going to regret it. That's when, right. Yeah. When those double prints come. Once in. this is CG seed, you're, it's yeah. over. It's Comic over, Tom's going to mention it. The spec mark is going to go crazy. Book. Yeah. And then George will regret his wanting a perfect book right That's then. That's right. Yeah, so. he declined one of those. So we we will never forget that. <laughs> Dude, that's George for so, you, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Leroy says it's a bad idea for the Bobcat to run its business the same way the federal government does. I don't know. They've been around a long time, still haven't gone bankrupt. So uh, I'm with you on that, Leroy, um, though. But yeah, I know I, what you're saying. You don't even have to be super confident. It seems like it works out pretty well for everyone. So I'm just kidding. Believe it alone. No more humor. No more humor about politicals. We're not allowed to make political jokes. It gets uh, <laughs> it gets us in trouble. So uh, whatever. Anyways, well, yeah, it's awesome, man. So what else you got going on uh, besides the book going into in demand? You got any other projects you're working with right now? Oh, always, always, um, always. I love it, man. I'm like too too busy. I'm I've overloaded myself. I've got several um, side commissions that you'll see, you know, covers and whatnot coming out, but. Uh, I'm working on a side book right now to refresh in between Star Circuit uh, called Left Hand Free. Um, and it's it's this um, writer's first chance at, you know, his first uh, appearance as a writer and it's his first book. But I really like the story. It sold me. And um, so this book is kind of a dystopian kind of avatar. I don't know if you saw Avatar, the cartoon, where they yeah. do martial arts moves and they make, you know, kind of fantastical things happen. It's it's like that, so okay. it's cool. I like to draw martial arts awesome. moves. I'm a, I'm, yeah, I'm a I got a ten and a thirteen year old, so I've seen both of the avatars. The first one was great, <clears throat> so perfect. Love, love the first one. Second one had some great animation, but still right. Still <laughs> I, I think I think it's the the general consensus on that one. Yeah, uh, great, but, great yeah. animation, but stupid storyline. But the first one was epic. I, we loved it a lot. So mm -hmm. that'd be awesome, man. I can't wait to see that. For so, sure, I dig yeah. it. And, you know, that's part of the reason we do what we do, too, by the way. One of the reasons we're really pushing to help independent comic book guys and and even the way we run our show is, man, we uh we want to keep – I mean, both of us got into comics when we were young, you know. Uh, like, we got into reading comics and the love of comics when we were young, back when the, the art was still pretty innocent, man. It was still – you know, it was still about – telling cool stories and, mm -hmm. and making people excited and building up heroes. And, right. And so, you know, one of the things we love about this, I, it's honestly why I'm kind of excited about your story. I don't know yet. I mean, we'll read it. I'll know, but mm -hmm. I'm hoping it's something that uh, my kid and I can sit down and, and enjoy going through together. You know, it's so. going to be, that's, I'll tell you up front, it's going to be a little bit difficult because it is. is it? Okay. But okay. It, some maturity inside of it. it yeah. I'd say it's, uh, it's just language. It's just language, okay. language and just some mature themes that, you, yeah. you know, but you, you won't have to nerd. I don't think there's there's no we maybe always, stuff like that. Yeah, no, we always pre-edit anyway. So you always run into those things. You go along it. So mm -hmm. no, I just I love that idea, man. So I, I it's just <laughs> George. <laughs> all right, Neil Adams was there before this all went crazy anyway. So we're gonna love him <laughs> because he's from he's from uh, he's from your childhood. That's right. Uh, that's right. I just collect this stuff now because, you know, I'm hey, cool like you. In so. 1971, I had two mega heroes, and I'll always repeat this. One, of course, <laughs> was William Shatner, Captain Kirk. And the second 
was Neil Adams, the guy that made Batman cool again. There you go. There, there you go. go. So, uh, and to Leroy's comments about joking about the fact that my uh, my investments is for my retirement. Hey, I just found three Death of Superman and the and the Resurrection of Superman comics inside. So it's over, guys. I don't even know why I'm doing this say, today. They only printed two million of those. Yeah, right? only yeah. two point five seven billion <laughs> were made. So uh, yeah, so. <laughs> It's over. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I, I'm loaded now. That's right. So suck it, Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, just kidding. Ooh, no, there's just, a burn. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, that's epic. That's epic. I've invested all my monies into comics and uh, just hoping, just hoping something will come out of it. So all my image number ones from the 90s, it's over. There I mean, go. I've got it all on the back. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. So, 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 so what's up next for you, Joe? What's coming yeah. up? Well, um, uh, we'll finish in that one book, but also um, just working. I, I like to do video. I got my own YouTube channel, uh, just my name, Joe Catapano. And uh, the goal there is to try to uh, build that up a little bit more. I've got art tutorials for anybody who's looking to do more of that, um, getting to actually figuring out how to comic, uh, cr you know, create comics in general. But I have one for comic penciling, comic coloring, um, several tutorials there. We stream and promote books just like you guys. So um, nice. But yeah, we're trying to build that up as well. That's always on the on the forefront of what I'm trying to do. Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's That's that it. and more more drawing, always drawing. Here, and I'll put this up too, as people can so people can do this. So, and then you also have a website. So, mm -hmm. would that connect yeah. everyone to all your other socials? Would that be the it, best way for people to get a hold of you? It will. I think um, I think the best way is Twitter because there's just you know I'm always posting about everything, but. Um, and all the links are there. But I think if you went to Facebook and found Catapano Art or Twitter or Instagram, they're all going to lead you back to the other ones. Um, okay. So okay. It's, it's I love it, man. Good. I love yeah. it. We need to subscribe to the YouTube channel. The YouTubes, yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Get on there, find them. I love that, man. I, I love that. I just, it, it's all, that's, that'll be great. So we'll get on and subscribe and share it out too. Not that you need our help you. from our, our uh, 10 subscribers, 15 subscribers, uh, you know, no, but. I dig it. It's going to grow when the movie comes out. Yeah, you just wait. You just wait. Someday <laughs> when when I'm rolling in the millions from my uh, Death of Superman comics that I found, yeah. you'll you'll laugh later, right? I'll have the last laugh. So, well, man, thank you for hanging out with us tonight, bro. We don't want to take up all your time. But, it's all uh, good. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling with you. If, um, yeah. You know, I, I'm, I love hearing about uh, Neil because Neil is a big – he made Green Lantern kind of cool for me as well. So, um, but, yeah, I liked hanging out with you guys. Yeah. No, nah, thanks for hanging out with us, man. We, we just keep it at about an hour. And so uh, we're going to start wrapping this up. And uh, yeah, everyone, I mean, pretty much everyone that watches us is probably already following you. But if you're not uh, just, yeah. So find you on YouTube with your name mm -hmm. and then website, the same way, isn't it? Uh, yeah. My, my, my main website is either um, Joe Catapano Art or Star Circuit Comic. Both of those. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So, yeah, so everyone get out, follow him. And, uh, man, thanks just for hanging out with us tonight. Here, I'm going to put this up here real quick to help make sure we're all in there. So There it is. Yep. There it goes. Yeah, I did recently sold that, that one Ronin piece. as a, That's a great Ronin piece, man. Piece. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, that's really cool. I like this other one on here. I was on here earlier. I was checking this out. Oh, yeah. So yeah, th that, that little piece right there, I sell those mugs. People buy those all the time. <laughs> it's fine. That's awesome. I can't get to pull up, but yeah, that's awesome, bro. So nah, so go out, support them, support them in every way possible. Let's keep uh, great art uh, going and, and uh, just keep conversations happening, man. So absolutely. Yeah. So we'll catch you later, man. We really appreciate you and hope to have you out. What we'll do is I promise as soon as we get the book, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll read it and do a, our own review and uh, it'll be as thorough as uh, Leroy and George's review that they'll do. Um, <laughs> And uh, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you to that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll pop it up. No, it'll be awesome. I can't wait to get a copy of it. Look yes, forward sir. to it in June. And uh, man, just oh, yeah. thanks for hanging out this night, bro. Same, same. I appreciate the invite. All right, absolutely. Okay, till later. Good one. See you. All right, bye. All right, bro. That was fun. Yes, that was fun. Another uh, another interview where we didn't uh, make people hate us. It's awesome. That's right. Uh, only a few people don't want to come back on our show. Hey, Just and this few. this is one of those too. There were no four letter words on this one. You know, 
It's it's not hard. It's really not hard. Just hang out with us. We just want I want my I want my kiddos to be able to watch the show later. Yeah. So yeah. Um, but you know what? A slip here and there, you know, just, yeah, yeah. just to have the crawl daddy hang out with us, we'll deal with it. Oh, Eventually, yeah. Eventually, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hire one of those guys that goes beep, and then it'll be Yeah, fine. I was gonna say we need the software. We're we just, just need a beeper. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, yep. we need the software. Well, I, I think what I need, I'm I'm learning OBS and I think we'll start doing OBS and OBS would give us a delay and, and we'll work it out. Eventually we'll get there. But for right now, every one of you cool, awesome. Some people hanging out, uh, even the ones who mock me ru- ruthlessly. I won't be crying tonight, I promise. Uh, I'm a, I'm a man. I don't cry. Uh, we just love hanging out with you guys. So sorry we missed last Sunday, and uh, and uh, we're gonna keep coming on. We got a, uh, yeah, I love it. So um, you know we're gonna keep hanging out. I, I should be launching uh, a non-live show. It won't be live. We'll just be launching it. And it's with it's our interview with Mock Mark Mock Mock Dodson. It's, it's wicked. Mac Dodson. It's wicked cool. We're gonna be talking to Mac <laughs> Dodson. Uh with Mark. So forget about it. In which uh in which I was exposed to not be as uh big of a Star Wars fan as I pretend to be because I couldn't think of the name of Jabba the Hutt's pet, which I still can't think of the name. It's Scrum. I didn't know it had a name. I just salacious. thought it was Salacious, salacious Scrum. Crumb. Good grief. I, I knew Most people crumb. don't know that, Nobody except for knows. the diehard. Nobody yeah. knows. If yeah. you know that, what's that? <clears throat> you know, Leroy. Oh, no, Leroy, I've set in on some of you, the shows that you guys are on. <laughs> that is not even, that doesn't even count. Because No, I, I, Mark Dobson <laughs> is not the owner of uh, Deadlift Collectibles. He is the voice and talent behind uh, Daffy the Gremlin. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, mm-hmm. and, uh, he, so he was on gremlins gremlins too. He does all the voice work. So he did the voice work for also, uh, uh, what's his name? Scrumptious. <laughs> Salacious. Scrumptious, scrumptious crumb. <laughs> truly scrumptious. Oh you're truly the, the scrumptious. little, the little rat creature that's, that's sitting next to Jabba the Hutt. He kind of looks like a Muppet. But yeah, he is a Muppet. He, well, he said, but he said it wasn't really the Muppet people that did that. It was some other people. No, they were created by Jim Henson's guys. Oh, I thought he but said that. But because he did it I so thought he well, said they didn't. Okay. Because he did right. that voice right. so well, it got him the job on with Gremlins. So uh, he did okay. work with. All right. So All he was, right. with, he was I, hanging I, out I with. Uh, uh, no, uh, the owner, by the way, of Deadlift Collectibles is Mike. I can't say his last name. Can you? It's a Greek name. It starts with an S. S- Sloika? Sloika. Yeah. Sloika. And uh, Mike's awesome. Y'all, it, I'm telling you, if, you li- if you're looking for incredible, uh, if you're just looking for a guy that'll do you right, if you love to collect old comic books, um, Mike's the guy. In fact, Mike's been selling uh, – uh, the bobcat in mm-hmm. the shop. Yep, yep. Um, so he's just awesome. He's a fun guy to hang out with, but no, so we'll be launching that soon. Um, tell him what you got going on. Uh, bobcat wise, you got a week off cause of the rain. What are you going to do? Yeah, I'm going to try to catch I'm I'm writing issue six right now, by the way, just like yeah. I told you guys before, it's going to be done before you even campaign it and put yeah. it out there for you. Yeah. So I, I've got yeah, not quite a dozen pages written and it's still undetermined how big a book it's going to be. It will not be as big as issue five. But it may be 38, 42, 44 pages. <laughs> Mike, Mike is selling issue number five, but he's selling the double, double cover. cover. The double cover that you declined. You'd already have it in your hands <laughs> if you would have accepted it. And it, you guys saw me looking down while I go. I tried to baptize myself with Coke when I was picking up my thing. I Coca-Cola. 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 Baptize Coca-Cola. himself with Coca-Cola. <laughs> We do say no to drugs on this show, which is why I am so goofy. I smacked the bottom of the table with it, and I just about <laughs> threw it all over me. So anyway, uh, so yeah, he's selling that there, and he's going to sell the the single cover editions when, when yeah. we finally get them. And yeah. again, I'm hoping it's just in a matter of just a handful of days, because it's been a month since I got the others, and yeah. I know it has, and it's it's been a little bit arduous because they're backed up. All this stuff has gone on. It's been very frustrating to say the least. So, but when we get it there, it's going to be worth it. I'm throwing yeah, in extra swag. Yeah. You guys are going to go, oh man, I love all this stuff. It's yeah. cool. Hang in there. We'll he'll be better. Be he'll be better next time. And uh, maybe y'all should just teach us even how to do it better in the future. We would love all of your help on that. We love all you guys. In fact, we'll just say this. I got to say this every show. I just got to let you know. I I like you more than a friend. I like you more than a friend. So thanks for hanging out with us tonight. This has been episode 22 of MyNerdSwag.com. Wow. We have not been kicked off the interwebs yet. Um, we're still having a blast. We hope you are too. And so we'll catch you all next time. All right. See you guys. See you guys.